So hi and welcome back to this video. So uh, like I said in the last video, what we're going to be doing today is uh, we are going to be creating the uh, user channel pages. And uh, what that is, is it's basically sort of like a profile page for a channel. Uh, and how that differs from the uh, profile page for the user is um, the profile page for the user just displays things about our user. But um, if we were creating a channel page, it would display things that are unique to that channel, not the user that created it. So uh, that would mean things like a uh, description of the channel, uh, the channel name, the uh, videos on the channel, uh, things like that. So um, it's kind of like a profile page, but it's for the uh, channels. So uh, what I've done here is I've just opened a few pages. I've not actually done anything to them yet. But I've created one new one called channel.php and as you can see it's blank. So once you create that page what we're going to do is we're just going to add some PHP uh, to it. So we're going to in uh, we're going to include uh, we'll just copy this actually. We'll copy everything from the profile page and just paste it across. Uh, and then uh, we will change username to channel and we'll say get C, uh, check channel. So all we need to do is just change these variables a bit. Check or uh, select all from channels where, um, okay, so I'm gonna check that row by going to the channels uh, table in the database. And as you can see, it says channel name and then creative code. So I'm just gonna copy that and change it to where channel name equals uh, channel. And then we need to change this to check channel. Uh, then we need to, uh, we can leave count and row the same. We need to change this to channel as well. Um, we don't need so many rows. We can change first name to channel name. And uh, created by Uh, and then we just need one more row for the uh, data it was created on. So uh, date created equals uh, the uh, date created row. And here we can delete all that and change it to. Um, uh, well, what I want to do on the. Uh, we can. Whoops. Right. Uh, okay. So I'm just going to uh, print out the uh, channel name. And then we're going to go to the, um, and before that, we'll go to the members page and we'll just create a, a link to it. So um, print channel name, or uh, it says echo channel name here. And um, what we're going to do is we're just going to say, um, create a link uh, that says um, channel.php c equals channel name. And then we want to end that and then just in here say view channel. So now if we refresh. Okay, so uh, here we have the uh, view channel link. So if we click on this, it takes us to channel.php uh, question mark C equals creative code and it displays creative code. But if I was to type in a channel that didn't exist, so Oops. If I was to put on um, some random characters here and hit enter, uh, what it does is just takes us back to the home page. And that is because uh, here we just say header location index.php if the user doesn't exist. So um, later on in the uh, series, we will be changing this to HT access. Um, so, like in the last series, it will be instead of using this as the uh, URL to, the, to uh, get to the uh, users channel uh, what we would do is we would say uh, slash uh, I don't know channel slash creative um, code something like that uh, instead of uh, channel dot php c equals creative code so uh, it just means the URLs would look a bit nicer but for the moment these will do because it doesn't actually uh, affect the uh, functionality of the website 
So uh, what we're going to do is uh, we're going to go to the channel.php page and we're going to end the PHP code here and start a new block. For the moment I'm just going to hold put up some placeholder text in instead of the actual um, uh, variables just to keep it simpler but uh, or that's because we're doing a design now so I'm going to create a div of class um, uh, channel options or a cha I don't know channel uh, just say channel options and in here we'll just say test for now then what we're going to do is we're going to open up the um, uh, the CSS file so if we're going to uh, go to the CSS folder and obviously we don't want to look for PHP files so we have a site style that's CSS file so we can just open that up uh, and in here we just have all the uh, default styles for our site uh, the other folders were just for the menu to make sure they work and it worked in most of the browsers or, all, or at least uh, so it worked in all major ones so what we're going to do now is uh, we're going to say channel options and here we're going to say background color uh, for now we could just say um, CCC CCC so it's like light gray we could set the width to uh, 300 pixels we instead of setting um, a definite height we could set a minimum height so we could say min height is uh, I don't know 500 pixels uh, we could set border of one pixel solid around the edge which would um, probably be the uh, color 999999 uh, and then, um, okay, so we're actually going to copy the colors of the welcome div. So uh, the background color of the welcome div was this, which is an even lighter gray. And it was CCC, CCC, uh, which was the border. So now if we um, go onto our website and we click refresh. So uh, what we're going to do now is we're actually going to... Um, make it a little less wide so we set to um to uh let me see 230 pixels uh we'll set the minimum height to 100 percent minus um the height of the menu which is okay to get that we need to open it up so i'll do that now so i just checked the menu so css file and um it's 39 pixels high with a one pixel border so that's 40 uh, so what this should do is it should make this okay maybe not so uh, to get the uh, height 100% to work we need to set the body height to 100% and that might work if it doesn't we'll uh, okay we'll also need to uh, go in here we just need to say HTML height 100% okay I don't know why that's not working but anyway we can just move on without it doesn't matter so uh, what we'll do is we'll just change that to um, uh, and we'll change it to just instead of min height we'll just say height 100% so what this does is it, uh, as you can see, fills the page then. Um, and what that means as well is, uh, I know you probably hard to see, but uh, if I, well, since I maximized the window, uh, you can see the, um, well, you can't, but uh, the menu fills up the you know, whole uh, height of the page. So uh, along this side is where we're going to have most of our content, and we're actually going to make this 200 because 230 is still a wee bit too wide. So we're going to change that to 230 and it actually matches up nicely with this menu item so that worked out quite well. Uh, what we're going to do now 
is uh, where is it? Here we're going to change this to a header two tag that just says uh, for now I'll just say channel name. Uh, um, I will change that to the name of the channel. So it says channel name. Uh, I know it's not the uh, nicest thing to look at, but um, we can actually change it. So in the CSS here, we will just say dot channel options h2. We can set the color so it's a little less dark. So we could change it to maybe um, I don't know three 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 three, and we could say uh, text decoration none and um, text align center so what this does is it makes a little less dark text align center text decoration none underline none can't wipe that uh, oh yeah it's a border bottom not underline whoops so we'll, uh, we can instead of copying that we'll just change this to border bottom none so there we have it, it says channel name and on uh, here's where we're going to have the uh, channel image so um, sort of just an icon for the channel so that's image source equals uh, the image source is going to just go nowhere um, we're going to set a height of one or a 70 pixels and a width of uh, maybe 40 pixels so that's obviously way too small I don't know why I chose such a small one uh, we will change this to 140 and then this to 140 and we will uh, also center it so here we just go do the same thing again dot channel options uh, image uh, text align center okay I didn't, um, we just said padding um, zero pixels from the top, auto from the right, zero from the bottom and auto from the left which should uh, center our image okay maybe not change it to margin actually okay I have no idea why for some reason it doesn't want to work but um, handy enough we can just use this Just cheat a wee bit because I can't really be bothered to try and figure out why that CSS isn't working. But anyway, the image is centered, and underneath we want some random text. So this is a channel, I don't know, channel profile page, uh, and we will just copy this. So I uh, know what this mean. What this looks like is uh, okay. We can put another paragraph break in between there. Um, what this means is uh, this is just how our profile is going to look. And on this side, we're going to have our uh, videos. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to create a new div, and the div uh, class is going to be uh, channel video container and in here we're going to have an image source of again uh, nothing for the moment because we have no videos uh, and the it's the dimensions we're concerned about here so the height will be 50 maybe and the width could be I don't know 90 and um, what this should do is that uh, Oh, uh, let me see. Yeah, we need to uh, push it over a bit, and that's a bit small. So we're gonna copy that, 
uh, on this we're gonna say float left so what this will do is it ch um, shouldn't change here but what it will do is allow us to do that um, without having to change or uh, make a separate uh, div for the image okay so uh, you can see here uh, the image is uh, pushed to the right hand side of our sort of bio section or whatever description section and since we did uh, float to the left uh, it just makes it way easier for um, designing our channel uh, but I was actually doing this to show you that it doesn't push it over here because that would make it look really weird because it would be out of line with the rest of the site so uh, it just keeps it in the correct place so now what we uh, need to do is change or uh, sorry we need to uh, make this bigger so say 100 tall and 180 wide so there's a uh, a good size for our images and we're going to copy this if we haven't already uh, go down here and we're just going to say that dot um, we're just going to say that for the moment and we're just going to maybe create a new div called image video div um, and what we're just going to do is say padding I don't know odd, whoops five pixels everywhere and what we're going to do now is to keep things even simpler we are going to create a div and hold every image inside of a div uh, and the div is going to be called whatever we call that image div oops image video div I think so uh, let me see that didn't do anything. Um, we'll set the margin also to five pixels. Again, that didn't do. Okay, that just pushed it down from the uh, top. Uh, if you saw the menu, so that's not what we want. So, um, so uh, to fix that, I'm gonna stop being stupid and trying to do things easier. And then actually making them harder. So uh, I'm actually going to undo what I did, delete this div, and uh, just say image, and then in here, padding 10 pixels, and that pushes it in 10 pixels. Uh, and then underneath, we could. Um, So here, uh, okay, now we'll actually leave that. I was going to put a title underneath, but we could leave it so uh, that the uh, videos don't display titles. And then here, just paste it down a few times. And as you can see, this uh, fills the page really nicely. Um, So yeah, you, I actually think this channel looks, this channel design looks quite good, uh, except we need to uh, fix that, but we'll uh, do that in the next video. Uh, so for the meantime, to keep it looking, like, whoops, keep it looking good, I'll just delete that. And Okay, we'll leave it like this for now. So uh, that's it for this tutorial, uh, in the next one we will be finishing this uh, channel design by uh, finishing or uh, fixing that, well not really fixing it but uh, making that display a real profile channel name thing. Uh, that will actually display real things from the um, database or real description and uh, I'm not sure if we'll get the images working yet because that involves uploading them and things. Uh, but we will also be uh, fixing this in the next part as well. So uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, favorite and subscribe. And I will see you next time.